What's going on to all my movie fans out there? Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're discussing a new Netflix drama by the name of Unforgivable, a film I was really looking forward to based on the stellar cast that live up to my expectations but we're going to break it all down here in this spoiler free review and I'm going to let you all know if it's worth checking out but before we dive into it, quick call to action, check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel, we'll consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and as you all can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed this review, we'll make sure to like and share the review but also, leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this is a film you all had circled on your calendar. But more importantly, once you've seen it, what'd you all think? Your pros, your cons? Did the cast live up to your expectations? Did you enjoy the narrative? Or were you disappointed? Were you not a fan of this film overall? Let's discuss it all in the comments below. So going into this new Netflix drama... As you all know, I review a lot of Netflix content, movie and shows, and Netflix movies are a little bit 50-50 for me, but when I saw this trailer, I mean, Sandra Bullock, Viola Davis, John Berthal, Vincent D'Onofrio, stellar cast, it looked like it had a lot of heart and emotion, it looked like there might have been an Oscar-worthy performance by Sandra Bullock. Let's talk about it, starting off my positives. First and foremost, I think for the most part, this is one of those films that the performance truly does carry a somewhat lackluster story that we'll talk about a little bit later but I want to start off talking with Sandra Bullock who gets the most screen time I mentioned the cast is incredible I'll talk about that cast a little bit later because I feel like they might have been wasted but we'll get into that in my cons but Sandra Bullock she plays this character by the name of Ruth now I don't know if you all have seen the trailer but based on the synopsis I'll just give you the basic bare bone minimum. She is, you know, she was con convicted for a crime over 20 years ago. She spent tw 20 years in the prison cell. I won't say what she did, even though the trailer says it alludes to it, but I won't say what her crime was. But let's just say the crime that she did once you come out and once people learn what you did, it's one of those crimes where people are going to look at you differently. It's one of those crimes that it's going to be difficult to find a job. And that's what I really enjoyed about this narrative is showing Ruth trying to implement herself back into society because based on this violent crime that she did, which she doesn't have remorse for, and you all will kind of get that with her character when you see the film, but seeing her try to get a job, seeing her try to get into relationships, and once people find out who she is, what she did, seeing her deal with those consequences and living with those ramifications of which she did 20 years ago and why she did it was the best element of this film and I thought that Sandra Bullock who I mean come on do I have to uh, you know repeat her filmography she's been one of the best actresses that's worked in her time she can play anything right we've seen her in comedy we've seen her in romances and, and seen her in drama she's just a fantastic actress and I thought that she really sold me on someone that has this regret but doesn't want to show her vulnerability she has this mission of finding her younger sister who she lost based on that crime and again trying to get back into society was something I thought Sandra Bullock did a great job at and I mentioned the great cast man again I mentioned John Berthal a couple weeks ago with King Richard he's really great in this film he's not in it that much but when he is on screen he has his relationship with Ruth that I thought was authentic and really had a lot of heart and emotion Viola Davis one of my favorite actresses working ever in Hollywood She's unfortunately not in it that much, but she does have, if you saw the trailer, that moment when her and Ruth are having a confrontation about who she is and the decision she makes, she has to live with that decision. That scene was fantastic, and that's the best scene that Viola Davis has because that's really all that she gets to do in the film. Vincent D'Onofrio, another fantastic actor. I thought that he was great, but a very small role. So for the most part, the acting, the, even though they were small roles, small, I don't want to say cameos, but didn't have a lot to do, they were memorable moments in the film. So I thought that was great. And again, going back to that narrative, I thought when the film was at its best, touching on being locked into jail and what the system can do to you once you come out of jail, I thought that the narrative there was a really strong point in the film. The emotions, for the most part, it took a a while for me to get in my feels but once we see Ruth on this journey to discovering where is my sister? Can I contact my sister? What does that conversation look like for the mistake I did 20 years ago? I think that's when the film was at its absolute best. But going to my criticisms, I already kind of alluded to it. I feel like for the most part, besides Sandra Bullock, I feel like most of the cast was unmutilized. They were kind of underused. Yes, I know the narrative kind of focused on Ruth and her kind of being re-implemented and being kind of reapplied to the society, getting a job, finding love and all that stuff. But I felt like, man, it could have been more for Viola character Viola Davis to do more for John Berthold so I feel like it was kind of wasted talent talent in this film and then there's a subplot that I don't want to give too much away but I mentioned that she does a crime and we get 
get to see the side of the family that was affected by the crime, right? From the person that the the the, the, the violent crime she took place, there's obviously another side of the family. How did it affect their lives? It was an interesting narrative, but when it came to the execution of those characters, these, these two brothers, one is kind of a goofy character brother who wants revenge and other character is kind of trying to move on with his life, but he kind of gets swept back into the narrative. That stuff to me could have been so much stronger. By the time we get to the end result, the third act, they pull something that I thought completely undermined that relationship that those brothers had and, and just kind of made an unnecessary scene of the brother doing something against his other brother that I thought was kind of completely unnecessary. And then once the character has a confrontation with Ruth, I feel like it could have been more fleshed out. So I do think that that subplot, which does end up being a really important uh, main thread in the movie, was very kind of undervalued and kind of underwhelming from my personal opinion. And then going into, I mentioned that there are emotional beats. I think that when you see this film and once you get to the ending, it hits, at least it hit me when we get that particular moment but leading up to it, man, I got to say the narrative was very kind of paint by the numbers. There was nothing really new that the film had to add in regards to a woman doing this violent crime. What does it look like in regards to her, her psyche and just the society looking at her? It touches on that, but it doesn't really have nothing new to say to that narrative. And again, supplementing it with these great actors who I thought they gave more in their role than what the script gave them. I thought that the overall narrative of how society looks at this woman could have been more fleshed out than what it actually was. So I thought there was a missed opportunity to really kind of add more to the conversation. The direction was okay. I believe this is the, uh, the director's first time directing anything at, at this type of value and this type of cast. I thought the direction was just kind of directionless. I didn't feel like it had enough personality, enough kind of, you know, spunk to really kind of bring out the emotional draw that I thought that all three acts should have had. So I thought that the direction was just kind of like anyone could have directed this film in my personal opinion. So those are kind of my main criticisms. Before I give you all my overall thoughts, if this worth is checking out on Netflix, make sure if you haven't already, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Overall, this film has good intentions. It has some really good performances led by Sandra Bullock, but I thought that the subplots weren't that strong. There was kind of an underused value of these incredible actors and just overall I didn't think it had that much to say about this crime and how society looks at people coming out of jail Especially women coming out of jail, but overall I will say I'm a fan of when films give me emotional resonance and give me something at the end, even though it kind of missed the ball and kind of dropped the ball leading up to that point. Overall, I would say I would give this a watch. I'm going to give The Unforgettable a solid three out of five. It's not great. It's not a failure, but it has some things that I could take away from it, even though I thought that it kind of missed some opportunities in telling more of this narrative. So that's my thoughts on it. The film will be available today by the time this video is out. And once you all have seen it, What'd you think about it? Pros, cons, thoughts on performances, direction, what worked, what didn't work. Let's talk about it all in the comments. If you all are stuck around to this point in this video, I appreciate every single one of you all. Before you leave, make sure if you haven't already to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell. That way you don't miss any of my future reviews. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe. As you can see on the screen now, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other content, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.